Next question is question number 2.20. Calculate the wavelength of an electron moving with a velocity of 2.05 10 to the power 7 meter per inverse. So here velocity is given to us. We have to find out what is the wavelength. It is a simple de Broglie's equation here because velocity is given to us. So velocity here is going to be 9 2.05. 10 to the power 7 meter per second. So this is going to be the velocity. Uh, we have to find out what is the wavelength. So the only relation that we have learned is the de Broglie's equation which gives the relationship between wavelength and velocity. So here in this what are the other parameters that we can find out. So h value here is given as 6.626. 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. Then since we are talking about electron, mass of electron is known to us. So mass of electron is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. So in this if you see, seconds and seconds is okay. But the parameter here kg and joule is different. So we need to convert Planck's constant to kg. So for that to bring a relationship between joule and kg, 1 joule is equal to 1 kilogram meter square seconds minus 2. This is the relation. So here we are going to change this to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter square seconds minus 2 into this joule because we did only conversion for joule seconds is also there so we multiply it with seconds here this seconds and one seconds will get cancelled therefore this is going to be 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter square seconds inverse so now all parameters are relatable now we can directly substitute in the formula. So a relation between wavelength and velocity is lambda is equal to h by mv. We have all the values here. We just have to substitute it. So here h is 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter square seconds inverse divided by Mass of an electron is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg into velocity of it is going to be 2.05 10 to the power 7 meter seconds inverse. Now let's cancel out the terms. Kg and kg will get cancelled. Seconds inverse and seconds inverse will get cancelled. Meter and 1 meter will get cancelled. Now when you simplify these values, you will get 0.35518 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Only meters left out, remaining all are cancelled out. When we calculate the powers, this, is, this will become 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Now what will happen is, when you shift the decimal, this will be 3.5518 10 to the power minus 11 meters. This is the wavelength of an electron moving with this much of velocity.